Okay, if I'm trying to solve for the concentration of an unknown base right here, and it tells me that it takes 0 0.140 liters of 0 0.051 molar HNO3, which is an acid. I'm looking right now at the volume of the acid and the molarity of the acid, which I know both of those things, right? Cool. It tells me that it neutralizes, which means it hits the pH equals 7, or for in our case, the equivalence point of 0 0.225 liters of an LiOH, which is a base solution, what is the concentration of the LiOH? So you see here we have the volume of the acid, the strength of the acid, the concentration, the molarity of the acid, and we have here the volume of the base, but we don't have the molarity of the base. So here we have the volume of the base, but we know at a pH of 7 at the equivalence point, that means that the moles of acid are equal to the moles of base, which is the same thing as saying the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid equals the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. Now in this case, which of these are we trying to solve? We're trying to solve for the M of the base, the molarity of the base. So let's plug in everything else we know. We know the molarity of the acid. What is it? 0 0.051 molar. We know the volume of the acid. What is it? 0 0.140 liters. Do we know the molarity of the base? No. We don't. That's what we're looking for. What's the volume of the base? 0 0.225 liters. Okay. If I have all this, I only have one variable to deal with. Molarity of the base. To get molarity of the base by itself, I'm going to divide by the thing that is be it's being multiplied by. 0 0.225 liters. Which allows me to cross it out as long as I divide the other side by the same thing. Now we have liters on top, which crosses out liters on the bottom, and we're left with a simple math equation. 0 0.140 times 0 0.051. When I multiply those together, I get 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, 0, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 1 is 1, or 5 plus 2 is 7. So when I solve this out, I get 0, 4, 1, 7. But I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 decimal places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my answer is going to be 0 0.007140 divided by 0 0.2. Five. Now, I am not going to make you do that math, but if you did and you pull out a calculator and you solve it, the answer is going to be zero, is going to be larger than 0 0.00714 because we're dividing by a number less than one. 0 0.00714 divided by 0 0.225 gives you an answer of zero. 0.0317 molarity. Did anyone else get that? Yeah. That is the strength of your unknown acid. So if you do a titration, you can find out how strong an unknown acid is just by doing a little simple calculation. Any questions? All right. Let me give you guys a chance to do this, but I'm going to upload this video to YouTube. So you can watch it in the Google Slides if you're confused. Cool? Cool.